This lesson will demonstrate how to use the method of substitution to solve a system of equations. And there's more than one way to solve a system of equations. What a system of equations is, is two or more equations where you're trying to find a common value for the variables, x and y in this case, that satisfies both equations. So that's what a system is. You could never have a system with one equation. So it's always two or more. And the method of substitution is most convenient to use when one of the equations is already solved for one of the variables, in this case x or y, or it can easily be solved for one of the variables. So notice that the second one is solved for y, y is alone in the second equation. The first one could easily be solved for y as well because the coefficient of y is 1. It would be easily easy to get y alone here. Now, in the second equation, since y is equal to 2x plus 1, and that's what y equals in the second equation, we can substitute that into the second equation in place of the y. And so what I'm going to write now is the first equation, I'm going to write it down again, but instead of the y here, I'm going to substitute the 2x plus 1 in place of y. So here's the first equation, there's the 4x. In place of the y, I'm putting the 2x plus 1 because that's what y equals, and then we have equals 7. So now we have one equation with just one variable. We don't have two different variables in this equation, so we can solve for x. 4x and 2x, of course, is 6x, and subtracting 1 from both sides here, 7 minus 1 is 6. And then we can divide out the 6 to get x equals 1. Now I know what x is, I want to find y. So I can substitute the 1 in place of x here, or in the first equation, and solve for y. I'm going to use the second one, the 2x plus 1 equals y. So putting 1 here, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3, so y equals 3. So I think I have a solution now that x is 1 and y is 3. That should satisfy both these equations. We will check to make sure. So the first equation, 4x plus y equals 7. So the left side is 4x plus y. So that's 4x plus y in the first equation. So we put 1 in place of x, 3 in place of y. So 4 times 1 is 4, plus 3 is 7. And remember, what's on the right side is 7. There's nothing to evaluate there, so the fact that this worked out to be 7 is a good thing. So it checks in the first equation. The second equation, I'm going to work with the right side here. The right side is 2x plus 1, so we're going to put 1 in place of x here. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. And 3 is what y equals, so that is what's on the other side, the left side. So the solution is then x equals 1 and y equals 3. That's the only x and y pair that satisfy both of these equations. So that's called the solution to this system of equations. Also, if we were to graph these two lines, this also represents the ordered pair where they would cross at the point 1, 3. Second example on page 2, we're asked to solve the following system, 3x plus 2y equals 2 and x plus 5y equals 18. Notice that the second equation is, is quite easily solved for y. We would just rearrange, bring the 5y over and we could solve for x. So we write either negative 5y plus 18 or 18 minus 5y. That's what x equals. So, since that's what x equals, we can substitute 18 minus 5y in place of x in the other equation. So that's what I just rewrote. 3x, okay, here's the x, the 18 minus y, 5y is what x equals, plus the 2y equals 2. And now we would solve for y here. We have an equation that just has y, so we'll multiply the 3 in here. 3 times 18 is 54. 3 times the negative 5y is negative 15y, plus 2y equals 2. So grouping like terms together, negative 15y and 2y add to negative 13y. And subtracting 54 from both sides, 2 take away the 54 is negative 52 on the right side here. Dividing out the negative 13 to solve for y, we get y equals 4. So that's our y value. Now, this equation that's solved for x, 
is probably the most convenient way to find uh, what x is. So we put 4 in place of y here. So x equals 18 minus 5y, so we're going to put the 4 right here. 5 times 4 is 20. So 18 minus 20 is negative 2. So now I think I have the x value and the y value. We will check in the two equations. So here's our check. In the first equation, the left side is 3x plus 2y. And so I'm going to put negative 2 in place of x here, and the 4 in place of y. So 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, plus 8 is 2, and that is what is equal to what is on the right side, so that's good. Second equation, the uh, left side is x plus 5y. So again, putting negative 2 in place of x, and 4 here in place of y. Negative 2 plus 20, or 20 take away 2, is 18, and that's good because that's what's on the right side. So that's the check. So the solution is x equals negative 2 and y equals 4. And just like I said on the other page, this also means that if we were to graph these two lines, 3x plus 2y equals 2 and x plus 5y equals 18, that they would cross or intersect at the point negative 2, 4. Negative 2, 4. One last example on page 3. Uh, Tom and Mary have a total of 19 loonies between them. And we're told that Mary has one more than twice the number of, as, of Tom. So we're asked how many loonies do they each have? So again, the problem like this, uh, decide what your variables are. The variables are the amount of loonies that Tom has, the amount of, of loonies that Mary has. So that T and M represent the number of loonies Tom and Mary have respectively. And again, notice that the word respectively here means that T represents Tom's because it's the first thing listed and the first name listed is Tom's. The second variable listed is uh, uh, what Mary, how many Mary have because her name is the second listed. Now the first sentence says they have a total of 19. So the number Tom has plus the number Mary has adds to 19. So that's what that first sentence, how it translates into an equation. Now, Mary has one more than twice the number of loonies as Tom. So twice the number of loonies as Tom would be 2t, and she has one more than that. So Mary's is equal to twice Tom's plus 1. Now, the second equation is already solved for m. So I'm going to rewrite my first equation with this 2t plus 1. That's what m equals. I'm going to substitute in place of m right here. And we can start solving for t, t and 2t, add to 3t, and subtracting 1 from both sides, 19 minus 1 is 18. Dividing out the 3, we get t equals 6. So it looks like the number that Tom has is 6. In the first equation, uh, t plus m equals 19, and we think that t is 6. So 6 plus m equals 19, so m should equal 13. Now we're going to check, check in the two equations or in the two word sentences up here. The first sentence says uh, they have 19 between them. So notice that 6 and 13, 6 and 13 do add to 19. So that checks in the first sentence. And the second sentence says Mary has one more than twice the number of as Tom. So 13 is twice 6 plus 1. So that works in the second equation as well. So Tom has six loonies and Mary has 13. And that's the end of the lesson.